Quiet. What is it that you're doing? Quiet. What, what is it that you're filming? Who are you filming? What is it that you're filming? Quiet, one second. We kind of need to know because you're filming the car park and the police station, officers' personal vehicles. I'm not filming personal vehicles. Right, so we need to know what you're doing. Well, I was going to tell you, but you let me finish, so now I'm not going to... Right, okay, why are you being difficult? Obviously, it's security reasons. You're filming a car park for the police officers' personal vehicles. You're filming the entry to a police station, so we, we need to know what it is that you're doing for security reasons. I'm not trying to be difficult with you. I'm trying to be reasonable. So when are you let me finish? Because I need to know what you're doing. Was it that? <laughs> you're not telling me. Was it that desperate? Yeah, it is, yeah. Well, now it's going to take you longer, isn't it? Right, why are you being difficult? Why was you difficult? I've missed another one now. Right, so you're filming police vehicles going into the police station. What? What's all that about? What's your name? Are you going to tell us your name or your address or who you are? What's your name? PC Jones, 3540. And your name? PC 2855. 2855. Mm -hmm. Are you going to tell us your details? No. Okay, we will require your details in the section 50 of the Police Reform Act. Anyone that's suspected to be involved in antisocial behaviour. We can't identify what it is that you're doing or the reasons why you're doing it. Potentially you're videoing police officers' personal vehicles for antisocial reasons, so we will require you your details. What's the uh, reasonable grounds? Yeah, as I just said, on suspicion of antisocial behaviour. Yeah, but what's the reasonable grounds that you suspected I'm committing antisocial behaviour? You Where's stood you? with your hood up in a dark little snippet behind everyone's personal vehicles, covered your face and you're filming. We're it's, not it's being not, difficult. It's, it's quite a warm night, isn't it? There's no reason to be wearing all black with your hood up and your face covered. You're not standing anywhere near anyone else, so there's no reason currently for you to have a mask over your face to cover your identity, is there? I wouldn't use Section 50 if I was you. Right, okay, so do you, you know the law better than the police, do you? Better than you, clearly. What are your details? Am I obliged to give you my details? Yes, you are. Under what section of law? Section 50. We're going to have to come round there and grab your details. I'll tell you what, serve us all the paperwork. I'll tell you what I'm doing. Right, okay. yes, please, we would appreciate that. So I'm making a video about the police station. Okay. That's what I'm doing. What kind of video? It's like a purpose. like a report. Okay. And what are your details? <clears throat> Must I require to give you my details? Yes. We need to know who you are. Is, is he gonna be is he gonna be filming the police station? The car park with officers, personal vehicles, officers are coming and going, you know, officers wearing personal dress and not the uniform. You're gonna be filming the gates and the doorway. We need to know for security reasons who you are and if you're absolutely just filming a, a video you know for legitimate reasons then that's absolutely fine but we need to know who you are so you just told me that it's absolutely fine what i'm doing no i said if you are but we can't confirm that so we? you should investigate first then shouldn't you well that's no, what we're trying to do this. if you're telling us who you are there's not a lot we can investigate so you're not going to take my word for it no, we can't, no so we you, can't you're calling me a liar? We can't take anyone's word for it, the police officers. We have to challenge everything. We have to look okay. into things, don't we? Yeah, so look if into we, it. If we took everyone's Have you got any evidence that, that I'm lying to you? Yeah, but we don't need evidence at this moment of time. It's suspicion, isn't it? Okay. So we, we suspect that you may be filming for antisocial reasons. What reasons you've are those? You've got your hood up. You've got your hood up. You're wearing all black. As I say, it's a warm night. There's no reason for you to have your hood up. You've got your face covered even before you were anywhere near anybody else. Um, so you're clearly not wearing it for COVID reasons, are you? You weren't anywhere near anyone, you weren't in the vicinity of anyone, yet you've got your face covered, you're wearing all black and you've got your hood up, and you're filming a, a car park where police officers are going in and out of personal vehicles, personal clothing, and we can't confirm what it is that you're up to. So the story's actually about Section 50 and the use of it at this police station. Right, okay. Because it's been used on me twice here, 
and uh, I've got two civil cases. One of them that's just been answered. I've just went to hear back from my solicitor as to the amount that you're going to pay me for it. So well, would you like to do that be, again? That might be that might be the case, but we need to know your details. So are you going to give us your details or do we need to go down the Section 50 route? If you want to fight it, then that's absolutely... No, if you go down the, the Section case. 50 route, then I've got no choice. Yeah, well, but then I, 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 but then I will are, see you in court. OK, that's, you know, that's, that's fine. Absolutely fine. That's absolutely fine. If you want to do that, I don't know what's happened in your past cases. However, we are going down the Section, section 50 route, so I will require your details. So if can you, you identify you yourself properly, please? Um, PC 3540 Jones, as I said before. From which station? Uh, I've just walked out of Stainbeck Police Station because I'm from Stainbeck Police Station. I, I well, that doesn't mean you're from Stainbeck Police Station. You could be visiting, like I am. Right, you've just seen me walking in and out, haven't you, in my own personal car? So. I didn't see you come in your personal car. I don't have a clue who you are. Right, we just Which one was you? The one that was bumping up the kerb? No. No? Right, are you going to give us your details? What happens if I don't give my details? Are you liable to arrest? Are you going to arrest me if I don't give you my details? Potent as I said, you're liable to arrest, so potentially yes. Well, unless you tell me that you're going to arrest me, I'm not going to give you them. If you tell me that you're going to arrest me if I don't, then I will. As I've just said, you've asked what happens if you don't give your details. I've just said you're liable to arrest if you don't give your details. So I'm asking for your details, and I'll say it one more time. You're liable to arrest if you don't give them. Does that mean you're going to arrest me if I don't? Yes. Yes, OK. Well, then I'll give you my details then. Have you got a pen? What do you need? First name. And what's the uh, wording of the law you that you're using? The exact wording of the law. We told Which? You. We told the wording you. of the section of the law. We've told you it's section 50 of the police reform that will require your details to suspect that you may be police social behaviour and you're okay. liable for us if you don't. Just give us your details. Okay, okay. Which date of birth, Michael? Uh, don't, you don't require my date of birth. It's fine, I remember you've been here before actually. So I'm still being detained? Yeah, I'm just going to check you out, make sure that you're not feeling wanted or anything. So I am detained? The thing is, we're not stupid. We know that you've come to film to aggravate a scary action. We've just calmly asked for your details, now you've given them. We can run you through and we can all be done. I was actually doing a story about section right. 50. Right. And the, uh It's not the best filming angle in the bushes behind the police station. I can see the cars coming in out there. Can't do that, I'm afraid. Was you working the other night when um, the guy was tortured in there? A couple of weeks back. What flicking the lights on and off, depriving him of food and water. You guys working that night? No, you wouldn't do, would you? Yeah, thank you, Shane, that's what I thought.
Right, yes. Okay. Michael, you are free to go on your way. Well, it's a shame um, it's not West Yorkshire, the one about North Yorkshire, is that what you said? Well, that's... You had a little chuckle there to yourself. Sorry, my information, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, Michael, you can go on your way, but as, as we said... So can you, you, could get, you guys can go on your way. As we said, you, you've clearly come to be... You guys can go on your way now. Here. You're standing in the bushes of a police car park. I was in the... Uh, in I was on the pathway. Building, so you are, you are I was on the pathway. To, you are going to get people... You guys can uh, leave now. So, Thank okay. you very much, you are dismissed. You are dismissed, guys. Right, See you later, guys. Evening, have a lovely evening. Have a lovely day. See you in court, guys. So we've found out tonight. At Stainbeck Police Station, I've learnt nothing. They've learnt absolutely nothing. They're still going around abusing Section 50. So we're going to have to keep visiting until they stop it. I even told them. I told them that we was already going to court. We've already been, um, we've already started the litigation process. But they weren't interested. They still wanted to abuse uh, the Section 50. So we'll have to keep working on staying back police station. But for now, guys, we're going to wrap it up. going to move on. I'm going home. I'm going to bed. Thanks for watching, guys. See you soon.